it's Heidi, and today we're going to talk about how do you properly eat soup. Oh, you never know when this is going to come in handy. Stay tuned. Well, hello and welcome. It's Heidi Dulabon, and today we're talking about how you're supposed to properly eat soup. Yes, perhaps you're going to dine at a very fine dining establishment, or maybe you just routinely dine at the highest levels. Well, you need to know what is the expected way to eat soup at these very high levels. And if you make this your go-to, your everyday way to eat soup, you know what? It's just going to be second nature to you when you are in these occasions, when you're in a circumstance where you really need to know how to eat soup properly. So first things, please hit that subscribe button. I'd be so grateful and like the video. Okay, so soup. Alrighty, well, there's many different kinds of soup and there are many different kinds of soup spoons. Today, I have a round soup spoon, so that tells me I know I'm going to have a broth or a cream soup with really nothing in it. It will be very smooth. Okay, so I know that and I know that my soup spoon is on the outside. I've come to this course and it the soup spoon is always on the right and I pick it up with my right hand. Hand. And now here's how you properly hold your spoon. You know, you might just say, well, gosh, I just like to hold it like this and, and go right into my mouth, you know, the, with the front of the spoon. No, not at these highest levels. No, what's considered the proper way to eat soup is you hold the spoon um, with your middle finger, your index finger, and the thumb holds it down, rests on your middle finger, and the side of the bowl is towards you. So you're going to scoop away onto the side of the spoon, you're going to bring it up and you're going to tilt it and you're going to have the soup from the side of the spoon. No front spoon things, none of this waving it in the air and, and then no, not like the little kids, you know, the airplane, no, no, now you're, you're dining at high levels here. So, okay. So what we're going to do, we know it's all from the side, not from the front. Okay, so we pick this up, we've been served this lovely soup, and now I've actually made this, this is a tomato basil, one of my favorites. Okay, so what we're going to do is we enter the bowl of soup with the bowl of the soup spoon. Okay, that's complicated, right? So put your spoon into the soup in the middle of the bowl. So yes, you go right into the middle and you're going to put the edge in away from you. You're going to just scoop onto your spoon away from you in the middle of the soup. Okay, so here I go. All right, so I go in the middle, I scoop away from me, and here's the trick nobody tells you. They don't tell you this in etiquette school, but I'm going to tell you. The trick is don't put too much on your soup spoon. Yes, go light. Don't try to fill it up. No, that's when accidents happen. Just a little bit on the spoon. I know it's going to take you a while to eat it, but that's okay. Okay, so now what do you do? Well, if you've put too much on the spoon, it might be drippy. If you're in that situation, it's considered okay, but not super great. Go to the side of the bowl and just sort of gently knock off anything that is there because here's what you do now. We've scooped away. We have just the right amount on our spoon. We sit up straight as we do in etiquette. Sit up straight, right? Engage that core. Okay, so you bring the spoon to your mouth. As my mother always said, God rest her soul, bring the food to your mouth, not your mouth to the food. Because you're so good, you're showing off all your soup etiquette skills. Okay, so you bring the spoon up to your mouth. And now you're going to tip the spoon from the side into your mouth. You don't put the whole spoon in your mouth. Absolutely not. So just like this. Excuse me. Okay, so again, we go into the middle of the soup. We scoop away from us just a little bit, right? That's the tip. That's the, that's the thing nobody tells you. You bring, sit up straight. 
you bring this, the spoon, to your mouth, you tip it on its side and you, and you sip from the side. Excuse me, voila. Okay, so now let's just pretend I'm finished with the whole bowl of soup. What do I do with the spoon to indicate I'm finished? Well, in very fine dining places and, and many other places, that your soup bowl is brought in on a soup saucer. So my bowl of soup is sitting on a soup saucer. I put my spoon resting on the saucer, not in the bowl of soup. So this would say to anyone, I'm finished. It was lovely, had enough, and then they'll take that away. Okay, but you say, but Heidi, I was served a bowl of soup the other day and it was not on a plate or a saucer. There was nothing like that. What do I do then? Well, in that instance, you would press the spoon in the bowl of soup because there's nothing, nowhere else for it to go. You would not put it on, on the table. So in that instance, no saucer, no plate in the soup bowl. Okay, I hope this helps. You are going to be a pro at this. You know, soup's a big subject. People spend enormous amounts of time getting this etiquette right, and you just picked it up so quickly. Bravo for you. Okay, everyone, love to hear your comments. And as I always say, please be kind. Thank you.